This video illustrates the third and final step in creating a VoiceThread, which is the share step. Now how you go about the share step depends on the privacy settings that you prefer. This video illustrates how to create a secure VoiceThread with the group feature. So I'll click on number three now. It's really strongly advised that you set up a group for your class and share voice threads with that group. Sharing a voice thread with a group is the only way to ensure that your voice thread is fully secure so that only the members of your group will be able to have access to the content within the voice thread. And what that means is if a member of the group were to share the link to that voice thread with someone outside the group, then that other person would simply see a page that indicates they don't have the appropriate permissions to view the content. For example, if I want to share my voice threads with my group that I've named the Callotypes, I would simply click on that group here. The members of the group would appear over on the right here. And then I could choose what permissions to grant to the members in that group. For example, I could click on the little eye icon to allow them to view the voice thread. And now you see that they've all been given that permission. I could also click on the bubble to allow the members of the group to comment. And I want to do both of those things. I can also tell you here at this point, if you get to a point with your use of VoiceThread and you actually want to grant individuals the ability to edit a VoiceThread, which gives them the ability to actually add slides to a VoiceThread, and that's a very advanced feature, you can do that here by just clicking on the pencil icon. Right there, I've just granted Brittany N. the edit permission for that VoiceThread. I could do that for all members of the group or just individual members. So that's another feature to know about. Now by sharing them with the voice thread with the group, they automatically have access to that voice thread and that's all I need to do. The students will see the voice thread from their My Voice page and I can also embed it within Blackboard so that it's visible to them there.